So if you're like me and you come from the bottom, you probably think that get middle class is just enough. If you could just get in the middle class and you just be good enough. But I'm here to tell you right now, do not, whatever you do, don't settle for middle class. That's the absolute worst thing you can do. Headed to the top, ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for. I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. What's up, y'all? I'm AJ Simmons, founder of the Clean Biz Network, where we help people start and grow six-figure cleaning companies, but I'm not here to talk about that today. What I'm here to talk about today is the middle class and why you shouldn't be in it. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one is because they fuck, man. The middle class is always the ones that get hit the worst. They're the ones who pay more, pretty much all the taxes, right? They're the ones that always got the most debt. Right, and they can't never, they always pretty much live paycheck to paycheck, it's just bigger numbers, right? So, when you come from nothing, right, you probably remember, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, right? Or I forget, remember, I'm talking about myself, but you probably are, right? If you're watching this video and you still are uh, poor, right, you pretty much feel like you're living paycheck to paycheck, you probably in poverty, bad neighborhoods, right? And you're not, not, not too many good schools and all of that, right? And so, you probably think, well, if I could just get to the next level, I ain't got to get rich. But I just want to get to that, you know what I mean, to the next level in a nicer neighborhood, right? Just a little bit of better car that I actually run, right? But here's what I want to tell you. Definitely don't stay poor, right? And, and I understand that you might not want to get rich, but here's what you should do, though. What you should do is find a way. Because here's, all right, before I get into what you should do, let me tell you something. Because really what everything is about is freedom, right? So first off, there's only two ways to be free in this country and in, in, in the United States. It's pretty much going to be either A, you're going to get rich, okay? You're going to, get, you're going to have to get rich to be able to pay for your freedom. And then B, you be poor and let the government pay for you, right? Now, that's not necessarily free, and that's why I don't like that option. But let me explain why I say that. It's because if you go the poor route, well, your rent can be free because you can live on public housing, right? And they base your income off your, I mean, base your rent off your income. So if you don't have any income, guess how much your rent is? It'll be zero, right? They'll pay for your food, right? You get the food stamps, they'll pay for your food. You need a babysitter, they'll pay for your daycare, right? So it's like whatever you need, the government will pay for it. So technically, you kind of just living free and you can wake up and do nothing every day. So that's one way to be free, right? But there's a limit on that because guess what? You got to show the social service for all these appointments. They're going to keep checking your income. They're going to tell you, and, and, and by the way, if you're a woman, they're going to tell you you can't have a man living with you a lot of times, right? They're going to try to dictate your whole life. So that's why when I analyzed that situation, I saw a lot of my friends coming up. They were doing that, right? They would settle, and, and, and the, the girls would get out the projects, right, and get that free rent, and they just go stay with the baby mom. But then as soon as the baby mama get mad, they get kicked out. Now you got nothing, right? So that's not true freedom to me. Right. And even if you a woman and you in a situation, you ain't the one getting kicked out by your baby daddy. But the government can kick you out because you had a fight last night. Right. Or because you were hollering too loud. Right. Or because your child, because you might got a teenage child, your child got into trouble with the law. So now they putting you out of the property. Right. So that's not true freedom. Right. So then the only other option is you got to go get wealthy, build some wealth. Now, the, the question you might have for me is, OK, AJ, well, duh, get wealthy. All right. Well, how do you do it? Well, here's the thing. You have to start a business. You have to. Because otherwise, you're going to get stuck in the middle class. Y'all know what happened. If you come from the bottom like I do, then you already know. If you poor, you're getting government assistance. Guess what happens when you finally get a good job? They take all the assistance away. Oh, you make how much now? Oh, you making 3000 a month now? But zero rent credits now. We ain't helping you with your rent no more. We gonna charge you market rate. And it's like, well, if you're going to pay market rate rent, you might as well get out the hood, right? So now you move to a better neighborhood, middle class neighborhood. But guess what? That rent's so damn high, now you still living paycheck to paycheck. You don't feel like you anything changed, right? You're in a different neighborhood, but you still check to check, right? Then guess what else? They took your food stamps, right? Oh, they took your daycare. Now you got to pay cash for all of this stuff, right? So now it's just like, you know what, damn, I might as well just stay in the projects. At least that way I could have slept in every day and have to get up, right? So 
here's the thing. Instead of settling for middle class and instead of trying to just get a little bit better, just get wealthy, man, and start a company. Why? Because that's the way that you can, number one, make an ex, ex, exponential jump in your income. At a job, it's like, okay, bam, but they pay you 60, 60 a year or 40 a year. You get little step incrementals, right? When you get raises, right? You get a little small raises. With a company, let's just say you start a cleaning business since that's what I help people start, right? Today, you can get out here today and go get a $2,000 a month contract. You can get out there tomorrow and go get another four thousand dollar month contract. You can instantly increase your income, right? If you got, if you sell a product, you got a product based business. Even if it ain't a service based business like the cleaning business, if it's a product based business, if you got a hundred dollar product, guess how many of those you can sell today? One hundred, if you want to, right? You can instantly control your income when you own a business, but when you got a job, you can't do that. So that's the first reason is because you can increase your income so much with a business, and that is the key. Is, is cash flow right you got to have some some income coming in you got to have it coming in quick the other key is because of taxes because now when you got a company guess what your tax after expenses see when you have an, a job and you're an employee and you ain't got no they're gonna tax they're gonna take the money out your check first they coming to get it from you first especially if you're middle class and you're making that 60 grand 75 grand a year you know what I mean? 40 grand a year? Oh, they coming for you and they taking that out first. And you definitely, you know I mean? You the one paying for everybody's, <laughs> uh, everything in the country, right? It's the middle class. They fund the whole country pretty much, right? But see, with wealthy people, they don't have to pay as much in taxes. Why? Because they, they know how to, you know what I mean? Use tax havens, right? They know how to get taxed last instead of tax first. They don't let the government take it out of their paycheck. Instead, they pay their expenses first for their business and then they send the government a check after everything is paid and you're lucky if something left, right? For the government to take after they're paying all these different expenses, right? So it's like, you don't want to settle for poor because the government controlling you, right? You don't want to settle for middle class because the government going to tax you and take all your money. So there's only one option left and that's go get wealthy. And how do you get wealthy? I just told you, you start a business. Then as you start a business, get that income up. Then you start investing in passive assets such as real estate, such as stocks, and then you financially free. But you got to go get it though. You got to be a go-getter. You got to sacrifice. You got to give up some of them things that you always wasting your time on. Reality TV shows, uh, 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 fa Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, laughing at TikTok all day for what? Fix your financial situation for you and you for your family too. This ain't just about, I just need enough. No, it ain't just, I just need to be good enough. Because you're never going to be good enough. You can get stuck in that middle class. So plant seeds to build real wealth so you can get real freedom. Because that's what it's all about, y'all. The middle class is, is not going to get nobody. Y'all see rent is rising and the houses are rising. So you can't buy or rent and save no money in this economy right now. Only thing you can do is get that bag. And the best way to get the bag is to get a business. So if you're interested in starting a business, think about starting a cleaning company because I just told you why. Get you a commercial contract and you be up the month. Right? Now, obviously, I'm, I'm oversimplifying it, but my point is, you know what I mean? Just get started, dog. Do something. Check out cleanbiznetwork.com if you want to try a cleaning business. And it's only $49 to get started with and join the, the membership of Clean Business Network. We got a full course that's going to teach you how to get your LLC, your EIN number, Get your books in order, build a website, hire employees, find customers, how to clean. You Everything you can think of is going to be in that course, and that course is inside the Clean Biz Network. Right now, it's only $49 to get in. So check it out, www.cleanbiznetwork.com. And even if you don't go the cleaning business route, just start some type of business, though. You have to. And go all in on it. Sacrifice some stuff. Stop eating out so much for a little while. Stop trying to go to all the football games or the, or the parties or whatever you be doing. You know what I mean? That be taking up all your money. And put that into a business for about a year or two. And see how your whole life changes. If you start today the and then six months, you can see a drastic difference if you go all in. Alright? So that's what I got for y'all. I'm AJ Simmons and I'm out of here. Thank y'all. Thank you for watching my video and make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video because I know you did and also hit subscribe and right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. All right. And if you want to start or grow your business, 
check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.